Hi Aquarius, welcome to your 2022 reading. This is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. Keep in mind these are general messages so they may or may not resonate. If it doesn't, feel free to check your other placements to see what else comes up for you. What is going on with Aquarius 2022? Body of work. Your life purpose involves body work such as massage therapy, energy healing, physical therapy or, or exercise training. For some of you, we have music. Your connection to music is healing for yourself and others. We have animals. You understand animals and communicate with them intuitively. Trust your inner guidance as the animals are part of your life's work. Some of you may be getting a pet this year. I'm hearing that it could be as a gift. So you're not really planning to have a pet, but someone buys it for you. <laughs> I'm seeing some of you receiving that, but your work could involve, it could be dance when I combine the two, but there's music and there is physical work. Some of you are doing something very practical. Let me see. Let me spread for Aquarius when it comes to 2022. When it comes to love, the first thing I'm seeing is you become becoming distant with someone. There's a feeling. I'm sorry, my neighbors are making noise at the moment. It's annoying, but there's a feeling of you needing to walk away from a situation. There is this whole situation where something with, with your love situation is making you feel like you have to be on guard, like you have to protect yourself, protect your heart here. This could be someone who may be in and, in and out of your life. So you have to be like, some of you are wondering like if they're going to stay, if they're going to stick around and keeping your guard up. That could be for the beginning of the year is what I'm seeing. But I see you doing a lot of thinking and taking a break. As you go into 2022, you are taking a break and doing a lot of thinking. I see you going full force with something when it comes to your career, but you may take pauses when it comes to love. I'm definitely seeing that there are going to be a lot of things revealed to you. Some of you, are, I'm hearing hidden talents. Some of you are going to be uncovering some hidden talents and this could bring success to you. Um, it could be something that you post online like singing not knowing that you could sing or doing something you didn't know you could do and bringing a lot of success to you that's only if you know that you could sing like if you figure out that you could sing or something i'm not saying to go and put yourself out there but there's something you're uncovering that's going to bring you a lot of recognition okay something you didn't know that you had in you with this moon energy something hidden um some of you just may have had your guard up a lot I'm getting that some of you may have been in a relationship or have have friends or family members who told you that you couldn't do stuff. So you may have been on guard for, for the first part of your life, like thinking you can't do this or that because someone said you couldn't do it and then realizing that you can do a lot of things. Wow, okay, let me clarify. Some things here. There may be for some of you, there's like one nurturing parent and one who is very unemotional. So there's the, some of you had a mixed, um, mixed feeling about life when it comes to certain things. Cause one, one of your parents may have just been very strict and unemotional. The other one, highly emotional, highly nurturing. Why the queen of pentacles? Okay, 
there's a lot of guarded energy with you. You may be um, finding yourself in a lot more social situations this year than before. And I just feel you being conscious about criticism or, or, or always expecting people to criticize or say something about what you're doing. And I feel like this year you're overcoming that. I feel like this is a year where you overcome the things that have been holding you back, the programming, you know, things that went on in your childhood. You're finally breaking free from those things, realizing your true self that has been hidden all this time. Okay, there could have been someone who was probably jealous of your abilities or just doubted you because they doubt themselves. Let me see, why this Knight of Swords? Clarify the Knight of Swords. Knight of Cups. Some of you may be running into a love connection only to run back out. Because there is this energy of you feeling that you need to pull away from someone. So it may be because you rushed in not knowing this person. Or they tried to rush in with you. Why the Knight of Pentacles? Yeah, you do take a pause to work on something. After rushing into something, you do take a pause. What's going on with this moon energy here? Please clarify the moon. Fall in reverse. Yeah, some of you are not some of you have for a long time not taken a leap because of fear of the unknown, what people are going to think, what the outcome is going to be if you put yourself out there. And this could be because of like something that your parents put on you like for example religion or just Beliefs that they instilled in you that kind of hold you back. I see you breaking free from a lot of things that hold you back this year And becoming successful and recognized for it For the things that you held back or were, were too afraid to show to the world The card in this deck for Aquarius says show the world the real you So I feel like that's that's definitely coming up in this reading that whole message why the five of cups there has been a breakup or a feeling of loss and some of you are kind of stuck on the past about that and feeling kind of unstable over something that you've lost by the eight of cups yeah walking away from someone someone that you love but feel the need to walk away from them because there's a lot of pain involved this could be someone who's in and out of your life and you just can't take the pain anymore Wishing that it could be better, but it's not getting better. So you end up just doing what's best for you. Why the Seven of Swords? As you do pull away and free yourself from the drama and get out of the conflict, you start to really dive into your own skills, focusing on yourself and your skills and finding success during separation. Why the Nine of Wands? Knight of Wands in reverse, Devil in reverse, yeah. Six of Wands again, um, Aquarius. Could be a Capricorn that you're dealing with. We've got Pisces, Leo, Capricorn. The person you're dealing with, they are slowly improving, but I see you still, you still have your guard up as long as you don't see a full on change. There's positive changes coming for you. Every time you separate, every time you find yourself by yourself, I feel like that's an opportunity to work on these skills that you have that are gonna bring success. The love can be distracting for you. I feel like the universe is trying to pull you into the direction where you become successful and recognized, but your heart keeps pulling you back to this person or they keep pulling you back to them. Why the Four of Swords? Seven of Swords again. Yeah, doing a lot of thinking. I feel like at the beginning of the, of the year, you're gonna be thinking about what you can do 
with your life going forward, rebuilding yourself after a heartbreak, walking away from difficult situations. Those situations may follow you, but you're definitely needing to stay focused on this skill, these skills that you have that will take you to another level. What's the advice for Aquarius? Your dreams need a practical plan, you see. Look at the bigger picture. Sagittarius energy. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Capricorn energy and the answers you need are coming. Gemini energy. So you are definitely getting to the bottom of something here. It's something that's been holding you back. You have abundance. Get more information. Peaceful resolution and forgiveness. So this could go for the love situation you have going on. There's a skill that's going to bring you a lot of abundance, but you definitely need to figure out the person that you're dealing with. If the relationship is going to work, figuring out what, what's causing them to behave the way they do, go back and forth. We have nine of wands again. Don't give up, protect that which is, sorry, protect that which you created. Have courage and believe in yourself. Three of cups, again. A celebration, a wedding, graduation or birth announcement. The need to have more fun. Letting your hair down, I feel like this, this, this King of Swords is either you being too serious and needing to get into this Three of Cups energy, or it's a parent or someone who's had a lot of influence, influence, influence on you and they are quite serious and expecting you to always be serious, but you finally decide to break free and have fun. We have Eight of Cups again. The desire to, a desire to move on. The search for something more meaningful, spiritual and emotional growth. So it's like you're growing spiritually and you feel like this person keeps messing up or causing you to feel hurt and broken hearted. And you just feel like there has to be something better out there. We have the chariot. An important achievement, self-discipline and willpower. Public recognition. So you see, this is coming up for you. And I feel like it's this King of Swords, whoever this King of Swords is, they held you back. And if this King of Swords is you, it's you standing in your own way or your own seriousness or pride. Kind of getting in your way and you're needing to just be more fun, let loose. And people are going to love the energy you bring, the fun energy you bring rather than the serious energy of having everything be too perfect or worrying about opinions. Let's see what you got going on for love. What are the love messages for Aquarius? Worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life. We have passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Soulmate, yes, this is your soulmate. And this could be the one you've already met, the romantic partner you seek. Doesn't have to be this person who has been in and out of your life and hurting you. That doesn't have to be the soulmate. I mean, unless they work on themselves and fix whatever is causing them to do this. But it doesn't have to be this person. It could be that a lot of you do walk away from the situation because there's too much pain and end up meeting your soulmate some point in 2022. But it seems that they are worth waiting for, this soulmate. And it's asking you to allow your heart and soul to sing with joy when they do come into your life. And not like allow the past your past experiences to affect this connection. We have shattered, trapped and fate. It may be fate that this relationship doesn't work out with this person who you're walking away from because you may be being led to a real relationship, the one. What are the messages for Aquarius?
Okay, repeat after me, every storm runs out of rain. My storm is almost over. Praise in advance. Same shit, different day. We have approved. Time to sign the dotted line, moving, purchase of a new home, car or business location. Loan, grant, scholarship, going back to school. We have swiper, no swiping, somebody's sneaky but can't even cover their own damn tracks, busted. So figuring someone out and feeling like, okay, it's time to move forward, move on. Comedian, shits and giggles. And some of you it could be comedy, that's your skill that you didn't know because someone may have been judgmental of you or telling you you're not funny. You may be able to entertain people. But keep in mind, we do have body work and music, so fitness, music, healing, energy healing anything here but your dreams do need a practical plan and i feel like you do need to get rid of whatever is holding you back there's taurus energy here sagittarius capricorn and gemini there's leo this could be the sign of the person you're dealing with or someone who's coming into your life pisces as well okay so on this cancer energy so Aquarius definitely work on getting rid of the fears or anything that's holding you back being open to this new connection if it's a new connection or if it's your person working on themselves but this clearly is someone who's in and out and it's painful for you and you're pulling away from it however with this devil in reverse it's possible that this person is working on themselves and that this toxic energy is leaving the situation. That's why I do mention that it could be them fixing the problem and it working out. But if not, it's definitely a new person. But I definitely see you in a connection this year. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing, Aquarius. Hopefully this was helpful for you. Feel free to check your other placements. If you want to know what else is going on. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.